Apollonius theorem. 1. This is a theorem that relates the length of a median of a triangle to the lengths of its sides. The theorem is named after the mathematician Apollonius of Perga. It states that in triangle ABC, if segment AD is the median, then AB squared plus AC squared is equal to 2AD squared plus 2BD squared. Here, we are going to prove this theorem for the acute angled triangle using the application of the Pythagoras theorem for acute angled triangle. So, in triangle ABC, segment AD is the median and we have to prove AB squared plus AC squared is equal to 2AD squared plus 2BD squared. Let us draw a segment AE, which is perpendicular to side BC and point E lies between points B and D. In triangle ABD, if angle ADB is less than 90 degrees, that is, if it is an acute angle, then by the application of Pythagoras theorem for acute angles, we get AB squared is equal to AD squared plus BD squared minus 2BD into DE. Now, in triangle ADC, angle ADC is an obtuse angle. Therefore, by application of Pythagoras theorem, we get AC squared is equal to AD squared plus DC squared plus 2DC into DE. But in triangle ABC, AD is the median and hence BD is equal to DC. So by replacing DC with BD, we get AC squared is equal to AD squared plus BD squared plus 2BD into DE. Adding both these statements, we get AB squared plus AC squared is equal to 2AD squared plus 2BD squared. Hence, the theorem is proved. Graphical representation of Apollonius theorem. We will see the proof of Apollonius theorem through one activity. On a graph paper, draw a triangle ABC and draw a median AD. Draw squares on sides AB and AC of triangle ABC and color them with red color. Now, Draw two more squares on both the sides of median AD and color them with green color. Draw squares on BD and DC also coloring them with blue color. Now cut both the red squares and join them to get a red rectangle. In the same way, cut green squares and join them. Cut the blue squares and join them to get green and blue rectangles. Now place the green and the blue rectangle on a red rectangle. What do we find? Here we find that the red rectangle exactly matches with the green and blue rectangles. As the area of red rectangle is AB squared plus AC squared and that of green and blue rectangles together is 2AD squared plus 2BD squared, we can conclude that AB squared plus AC squared is equal to 2AD squared plus 2BD squared. It is time to practice what we have studied so far. We will try to solve a few problems. Example. In the figure shown here, angle LMN is equal to 90 degrees and angle LKN is also equal to 90 degrees. Segment MK is perpendicular to segment LN. 
Prove that R is the midpoint of segment MK. Proof In triangle LMN, angle LMN is equal to 90 degrees. Segment MK is perpendicular to segment LN. Since MR is the perpendicular drawn from the vertex of the right angle, LMN to the hypotenuse LN by property of geometric mean, MR squared is equal to LR into RN. Similarly, in triangle LKN, angle LKN is equal to 90 degrees and segment MK is perpendicular to segment LN. Therefore, by property of geometric mean, KR squared is equal to LR into RN. That means, from 1 and 2, MR squared is equal to KR squared. Therefore, MR is equal to KR. Since point R lies between points M and K, and MR is equal to KR, R is the midpoint of segment MK. Let's solve one more problem. Example Segment AD is the median of triangle ABC and AM is perpendicular to BC. Prove that AC squared is equal to AD squared plus BC into DM plus BC upon 2 the whole squared. So, it is given that AD is the median of triangle ABC and AM is perpendicular to BC. We have to prove that AC squared is equal to AD squared plus BC into DM plus BC upon 2 the whole squared. From the figure, we can see point D lies between M and C which implies MC is equal to MD plus DC. In a right-angled triangle AMC, angle M is equal to 90 degrees. So by Pythagoras theorem, AC squared is equal to AM squared plus MC squared. Now, MC is equal to MD plus DC as point D lies between M and C. Therefore, we can replace MC by MD plus DC. Thus, we get AC squared is equal to AM squared plus MD squared plus DC squared plus 2 into MD into DC. Now, consider triangle AMD in which angle M is equal to 90 degrees. So by Pythagoras theorem, AD squared is equal to AM squared plus MD squared. So in equation 2, in place of AM squared plus MD squared, we can write AD squared. Also, it is given that D is the midpoint of BC, which means DC is equal to half BC. From equation 2, we get AC squared is equal to AD squared plus half BC, the whole squared, plus 2MD into half BC. Hence, AC squared is equal to AD squared plus BC into DM plus BC upon 2 the whole squared.